Who am I? My name is Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, but that's about all I know. So, today is May 3rd, and what I have is this. I get to send my spit in the mail to a company who will look at it and then tell me who I am. <laughs> so this is the 23andMe Ancestry kit. I've never really known mine. I've always just been white guy. And so I've wanted to do this for a while to see if I could actually kind of find out what I am. So the reason I'm recording this today on May 3rd is that once you send in your saliva, it takes about six to eight weeks to come back. And I want to get the results as quickly as possible. So this kit includes a set of instructions, one saliva collection tube, one return bag, and a prepaid return label and box. So to get started, I just have to open up this package. There's some instructions. Instructions are mostly contact info in case you get stuck along the way. So this just lets you know right here, no food or drink 30 minutes before, spit to the fill line, close the funnel, detach the funnel, seal in the bag, and then mail in the kit. They emphasize repeatedly the importance of registering your kit, so I guess that's like the number one thing to do if you're doing this. And this is the actual sample kit. You've got the bag, and then you've got the collection tube, I apologize if this part is gross, but this wasn't really in the instructions. Once you fill the tube to the line and you close this lid, there's actually like some kind of solution, I don't know if it's saline solution or what, that's in this lid. And when, it, when you close it, the lid gets punctured and the solution mixes with your spit. It's really weird and it wasn't really mentioned. And once you do that, you're supposed to unscrew and remove the funnel and then you place on the cap and then you're supposed to shake it for five seconds. And that's basically it, I believe. And so here you can see you're not supposed to include the funnel, you're just supposed to include the tube. You're not supposed to remove this pad. It just goes in here. So that's it, it's sealed up pretty dang tight. My spit is definitely a biohazard, so I'm glad that's clearly marked. And then you're supposed to put this bag back into the original box. It's all in there. And then this just goes into the box. When you do register, they make you sign a whole bunch of consent forms that are probably pretty important to read. It's about how your sample is going to be stored, how the data is going to be used. They say that it's basically for research and nothing invasive. It's sort of up to you to decide how much you are comfortable with that or not. I was fine with it. So you pop the sample back in, peel off this adhesive strip. Well, that's like, that's very secure. That is not coming undone easily. That's it. It gets special shipping because it's a human specimen. Gross. So I've got the sample in here. This box is already pre-addressed. I just need to drop it in the mail and then wait for the results. So it's been just under four weeks, just over three weeks since I sent in my gross spit sample. And I just got an email today that says, um, your reports are ready. I haven't opened it yet. Do -do -do. So I asked Heather if she wanted to sit in. If you don't know Heather, I don't know where you've been, but you should check out her channel, Heather Just Create. It's fantastic. It's up in this general direction. Um, I'm his girlfriend. He failed to mention that. Right? Yes, she's also the love of my life, and she's also the one who told me about 23andMe. So um, since I don't know my background, that's what I wanted to do. So here's what I'm going to do. Actually, hang on one second. Let me start. White guy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna look at it for the first time on the computer. We haven't seen it. I'm doing a screen recording, so hopefully when I edit, we can put it somewhere up on the screen and you can kind of see what we're reacting to. Because I don't know what these reports look like. There's two options for reports with 23andMe. There's the Ancestry report, which is just sort of your genetic makeup. And then there's also one that's like what conditions and diseases you're predisposed to. I didn't do that one because I have enough anxiety in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it was more expensive. Yes, you do. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna click on your reports already. It says, Tom, welcome to you. Uh, view my reports. Welcome to you. Welcome to me. Wow. Here are the reports. <gasps> I didn't see anything, but it- I saw, I saw something. It popped up. Um, so the, the things that are up here say, ancestry composition, maternal haplogroup. I don't know what that is. Neanderthal ancestry, paternal haplogroup, and my DNA family. <laughs> so ready? Here we go. Set. Go. It's a lot of Europe over there. Okay. It's only Europe. <laughs> it's all Europe. British and Irish, 50%. Balkan. Croatia. Croatia, 17.9%. That's my second largest group is Croatian. Where's Ooh. that? <laughs> the, <b> <laughs> you <don't> 
don't know where that is. <laughs> You're also German. So French and German, 7.2%. That that I hadn't I thought of. Scandinavian, not unlike a piece of Ikea. No, Ikea is... Yeah, it's Swedish. Oh, on Iceland, where I'll be visiting my homeland. You're gonna go see your people. Well, 2.2%. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern European, 2.1%. Italian, 0.6%. Uh, Jewish, 0.4%. So I'm quite European, uh, aggressively European. Oh, but look, if we scroll down, it gives your ancestry timeline. British and Irish, that's, okay, that's from like 1960 to 1900. The Balkan one goes from 1930 to 1870. Then back in the 1800s and to the 1700s, it was French, German, Scandinavian then going into the Eastern European Italian, way back into the 17, 1720. So that's Ashkenazi. Mo yeah. more than eight generations ago. I mean, is this what you were expecting? Um, pretty much. I don't think I was expecting this many things. Yeah, because we've talked, we get, we guessed. We, I remember us saying British. So yeah. British, we did say Canadian, but that's not on there at all. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm not Canadian. There's... So we gotta go to Ireland, cause that's hometown, that's homeland for That's you. my main homeland. Yeah. This is like a bizarre, I feel actually really like strange. Really? Yeah, like I'm actually having a, an emotional response to Aww. it in a weird way. Describe. Like it's, I don't know, it's weird. Cause I've never known for sure. Cause everyone says you're white. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like yeah, it doesn't mean course. anything. Yeah. And so to like, to, to pin it down to specific things. I don't know, it's it's interesting. It makes like, it makes your history feel real. Interesting, would you do it? Yeah, I'd do it. I already know it. I, I mean, I'm I'm almost positive I know what it would say, but I'm curious as to all this other, other you know, Italian, Eastern European, Scandinavian, like you're getting all these things where you're majority British Irish, but. Yeah, it's super cool. So, I mean, for me, I think the cost of this is like 80 bucks or something. It wasn't, this isn't like a sponsored video or anything. I definitely like to have spent $80 so that I can now fill out customs forms correctly. <laughs> what were you putting? <laughs> I'm mostly Pacific Islander. Shut up. Now I gotta really celebrate St. Patrick's Day, I yeah. guess. So this is super cool. Um, that explains why you like Guinness so much. No, you don't like Guinness. You like the other I don't one. Like beer. No, no, no. Um, what is it? Bailey's. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe not necessarily about my <laughs> ethnicity, but. Uh, yeah, let, let, let them know what you think. They're gonna be like, I knew you were a Croatian. <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are on the process. If you've done it, if you want to do it, uh, you know anything basically don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already don't forget to visit and subscribe to heather's channel heather just create for all kinds of uh really really incredible content and i will see you guys next time so until then this is european tom buck signing off <laughs> have a great day bye